Okay, next is the uh, famous Southern Calamari, which is uh, a brilliant eating. They're fantastic for bait too. The boys will tell you they're very, very good for uh, snapper. Mulloway Jewfish love these guys. Yep. But uh, for eating, really, really good. Now, I've got Len here, he's just going to sort of uh, clean this up. So, we're going to do a couple of ways. We're going to do some rings in a sec. And we're also going to do them as what the pineapple ver variety or version of it. So, let's go with a bit of cleaning first. So, we'll take his head off first. That's good. That's our baits. It's your bait, yes. No waste in this fella. Snapper, Mulloway, Kingfish. Yeah, one of the premier baits, isn't it? Yeah. And then we're just going to pull out that backbone and, and, and gut. See if we can get to it. Most important you do this bit, otherwise it's very crunchy, is that correct? It is crunchy. Isn't it? <laughs> what a hole is, is a slippery, there it comes now. That's that little cartilage thing we're talking about. Okay, that's his backbone. Uh, yeah. The uh, the cuttlefish has the same thing, doesn't he? But that correct, big, the yes. bigger, back, yeah. back, bigger yeah. heavier backbone. But it's basically the same thing. And just taking out that gut as well. As well. All the gooey bits. Yep. And obviously we've got to take that skin off, which will be happy in a sec. Yep. Okay. And you want to give me a quick wash while we were doing I'll just pull this? these two wings off. Yep. Which is sort of meant to fall this way. And that'll just give you that flute, won't it? Or the, uh, the finished tube. product, the yep. tube, yep. It's as simple as that. Just taking the skin off as well. Yep. And uh, gold, basically. The center. Basically, that's, that's what we want. Just having calamari chew. Do that for you. We're now turning it into rings. And uh, not too thin, not too thick, as you can see. That's about perfect. Take it all the way through. And. Uh, simple as that. Yeah, simple as that. And again, uh, I say this very, very quick on the on the uh, on the cooking of these. Yeah, very, very quick. A little bit better, yes, but that, basically, uh, that's, that's your basic. calamari rings. Yep. Okay. okay, for a bit of uh, decorative cooking. Now you've obviously seen how we've taken. When I say we, Len's taken this apart, <laughs> done the job, and it looks pretty good. Uh, what we're going to do is basically pineapple this. Now it's a way of decorative cooking. So if you're out fishing with the boys and uh, they've been giving you a hard time. You might like to sort of say, okay, fellas, we're going to do something a little bit different and uh, we're going to give you a bit of culture. Now, of course, open the squid tube up, scrape away any, uh, remaining, any residue. remaining residue, yep, and then basically with a very soft cut. And you also notice the knife he's using is a Swibo blade, very good knife, and uh, some of them, the older ones can be quite hard, but the newer ones and the blue and white handles and the yellow, much softer and uh, good knife to use and easy to sharpen. You can actually see what he's done, he's just basically run through there, cut almost all the way through but not quite, and then just reverse cutting, as you can see. A little bit like doing a mango, isn't it? When it you is do a mango, you do it pretty much the same way, and then as you pop it up, you get those uh, nice little lumps that stick up in the air. So, so that's we basically created it. that crissy crossy pineapple -y look. Yep. And um, as we now we're probably just... Straight down the centre. Yep. And then cut it into the sizes that you basically want. Now again, it's, this is all up to you how thick or thin you cut it. We're just giving you a bit of a guide on that. And uh, the finished product is great. Squid, you can't beat it. it. If it gets a bit old and knocked around, that's why it makes fantastic bait. Either way, it's, uh, it's great. But to eating fresh is fantastic, and that's your squid. Basically done, ready to go. Would you pop that straight into hot, hot oil? Yep. You might, I mean, they have that a lot of different ways, don't yeah, they? They, they have it shishimi as well, they have it. A quick boil. Quick boil? Yeah, let it cool down, toss it through a salad. Sounds fantastic. Sweet salad, yeah, lovely and fresh. It's Bill Classen here from The Fishing Show, and if you like this instructional video and want to learn more, it's simple. Go to fishingshowtv.com.au and see a whole host of additional videos.